Grounding for 100. Now, this is the easiest question on the board, and yet people have the most difficulty explaining it. So keep it really simple. In fact, I want you to try to imagine that you're explaining this to that child in their very first science class. And the teacher made the comment that electricity wants to go to ground. Tell them why. Yes, you're right. It does want to follow ground. But why? It wants the easiest path. Path of least resistance. No. no. And this is one of the problems. Because if you look at a system, and I'll use my little metal tool here. The path of least resistance in this system would be the ground wire. Right? There's not supposed to be power on the ground. When there's power on the ground wire, what do we know? Something's broke, right, Scott? <laughs> yeah, something's broke. Now, if I'm holding this tool, when that problem occurs, and current finds its way to that ground, what part of the tool am I holding on to? The grounded part. Does that mean that no current will go through me? No. It means I'm going to get some current. How much current is going to be dictated by the quality of the path? The amount of current I'm exposed to and the amount of time of that exposure. Now, the circuit breaker may or may not trip. Right? Right? Uh, how many of you uh, believe that that circuit breaker will trip every time there's an overload? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you have to be very religious, you know, and, and pray on a regular basis. I've been shocked too many times by an old metal refrigerator. I hear people tell me that. I love that story too, Scott. When they come up after class and they'll go, you know, Bob, we got a problem at the house. If you touch the <laughs> stove in the refrigerator, you get a shock. And, it, and you start to explore, well, how long has that been going on? Well, let's see, we bought the house in 79. <laughs> well, yeah, something's broke. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dad's fridge that was out in the garage that put beer and soda and stuff in, every time you opened it, it was one of the old two-wire refrigerators. And every time you opened it, you got shocked. Well. He put a rubber mat in front of Exactly. You know, I had a guy, I swear to God, this is a great story. I was holding up this drill in a class, and I got this really big guy in class who giggled. Now, when guys giggle, I get nervous. But when really, really <laughs> nasty guys giggle, then I get really, really nervous. But every time I'd hold up this Remington drill, he'd start giggling in class. So I finally I stopped and I said, what the heck is so funny? He says, Bob, I used to have that exact same model drill. Really? Well, what happened? Well, every time I used it, I'd start to get a shock. I said, well, what'd you do? He said, started wearing gloves. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking to myself, okay, this guy's a Darwin candidate. <laughs> right? I said, well, tell me what happened to the drill. And he said, well, you know, Bob, one day it was really hot out, and I had my shirt off, and I accidentally brushed that drill up against my chest. And he stopped and took a deep breath. He goes, you know? Damn thing knocked me on my ass. I said, so what'd you do? He said, well, I bought me a new drill. Good, good. He says, I give the old one to the wife. <laughs> <laughs> I waited a minute because the guy next to him and him started to talk. So finally, I, you know, I waited until they were done and I said, was there more? And the guy next to him said, just wondered if he gave her the gloves too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why does electricity go to ground? Kurt, you really didn't get the answer to it. Scott, you want to try that? Um, I, I, just guessing. It's uh, always trying to complete a circuit. It's, no, it's not a guess. You're absolutely right. It, it's Thanks. trying to complete a circuit <laughs> in order for current to flow. You got to have a way out and a way back. It's got to have a complete circuit. The point is that the generator, the source, is grounded. The earth is conductive mineral. The current is supposed to go out on the black wire, right? The ungrounded conductor. And it's supposed to go through your appliance and back home on the white wire, or the grounded conductor. But if something goes wrong, it can always find its way to the grounding conductor, my green wire or bare wire, my something's broke path. 
and so it's an alternative way home. Now why is this really important precept in doing basic electrical safety? Because we tend to be the bridge. When the drill goes bad, if I'm holding on to it, it finds its way to ground through me. And that's how we have our injuries. That's how we have our problems. Circuit breakers were designed with a very specific purpose. They started around 1904. They came up with the idea of fusing and then grounding. And then circuit breakers came. They started testing them in the 30s, but they, they were starting to supply them in the 40s. The purpose of the ground wire is to help overload the fuse of the circuit breaker to prevent fires. Now, if the drill goes to short while it's sitting on the bench, and it's shut the breaker off before I grab it, it saved my life. But if I'm holding on to it when it goes bad, how is it going to save my life? Well, it might take enough of the power the other way to keep me from dying, but that's crapshoot. You know, that's not an absolute. What, what happens is based on, again, the quality of the path, uh, the, the amount of current, and the amount of time of exposure. That's all luck. All right, very good, very good. Why does current grow to a ground? It follows the conductive mineral path back to its source. You create that completed circuit.